In this lecture series, we're going to take a look at how I set up the animation controls and the rig for this coral polyp model. So I have a short little animation here which kind of shows the rig in action. I have multiple coral polyps here. And you can see I've created kind of like a nice dynamic motion to the tentacles to make it look like they're reacting to forces within the environment. But I also have some controls that allow me to bend certain tentacles at will, like, and also controls that allow me to open and close the mouth. The chapters of this lecture discuss rigging techniques in Maya 2015, all the way from how to create a skeleton for a multi-tentacled polyp, how to skin the geometry to the joints of the skeleton, the difference between forward and inverse kinematics, how to build accessible forward and inverse kinematic controls directly into the rig, how to set up custom attributes, how to add dynamic simulations to the tentacle motion, and all of this while constructing a rig that is easy to use in an animation. So to get started, let's take a look at our polyp model.